Yo, what's up, boys? I'm so like, fuck, man. <laughs> you know that video? I wanna jerk off! I wanna jerk off! Bro, that's exactly me right now. I'm so overcome by my urges, my horniness. I can barely think straight. Like, I, I was watching. I was watching porn a few minutes ago. I didn't mean to. It's just like a website came up. Ended up exploring the website. Got curious. And I just fucking, bro. Down the rabbit hole. And I'm suffering. Why not? Anyway. I kid you not, like, I'm ready to meditate for an hour. So an hour of my time needs to go. An hour of my time needs to go anyway, because I need to meditate anyway. But I need to. <laughs> My tissue. Yo, man, this looks zesty. I got nothing in here. Oh, oh my god. It's my blood. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't even jerking off my blood. Because I was nose bleeding. <laughs> Am I bleeding again? No, I'm not. I'm. Being in a 17 year old hormonal teenager body is probably possibly the most annoying thing ever. I understand why in Rick and Morty, Rick chooses to be an old man. Because your urges are pretty dialed down at that point. You can control yourself. It's so difficult controlling myself. Uh, I feel like a rocket about to burst. That is enough, like a funny, funny thing. Ha ha ha, rocket about to burst. About to come everywhere. <laughs> come over my chest. <laughs> come over. Um, it's, I'm so, being in this body, like, I'm, I, I want to be on NoFap, and oftentimes when I'm working extremely hard, I, I use this sexual energy in order to work even harder as a source of energy, a source of motivation, sexual energy. Energy cannot be destroyed, it can only transfer to another place, right? So instead of jerking off and then becoming lethargic after, like, yeah, well, I just want to relax. Instead of being like that the entire day, I'd much, much rather be, do my work and then keep it keep that urge um, like you know boiling inside of me when, when a man is horny it's genuinely like something is boiling inside of you when you're truly genuinely horny like you get this sense of immense like if you're super down bad then you get this immense like desperation feeling super like you need to fucking you need to have sex you need to come you need to release the energy and it's especially apparent and it, this is weird because 17 to 18 is usually where young men reach their, how do I say this, testosterone peak, sexual peak, it only goes down if you don't exercise. For the most part, it only goes down because most men don't exercise, like that. Most men do not exercise, and therefore their testosterone goes down, and their the overall neural capacity goes down. That's, I'm pretty sure that's proven scientific fact, if you, if you don't have consistent exercise, because exercise not only stimulates the brain, it stimulates the entire body. It's a, it's a whole shabbat. I'm gonna need some water because I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I can barely think. Ah, uh, and I think to myself, yeah, which is quite interesting. If I did have a girlfriend and I did have consistent sex, I probably wouldn't be as successful as I would like to be. It's very weird, right? Because a lot of men think like, oh yeah, oh, I'm really horny. Let me get get a girlfriend. And they get a girlfriend, right? After trial and tribulation, they they get a girlfriend. They speaks they speak a good lie. Anymore. I tell her sweet lies, they promise a relationship, they do this, they do that, and then in the fuck, 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 fucking, and then guess what happens? Reality is often disappointing. You cannot just fuck forever and expect nothing. A baby is going to come out. And they, and they become a teenage parent or a young adult parent, and boom, now your life is fucking done. You have to take care of the kid. A lot of these guys are living on the female timeline. That's no offense to females, it's just that. It's just that woman, you know, by the age of 25, looking to settle down. Men at the age of 25, still a fucking idiot. For the most part. There's a very small, select few men who are actually competent at that age. It's very, very, um, how do I say this? Very, very unnerving to see Amit to here. I am roughly around six months and almost seven months after these two days into my seven improvement journey. 
I'm not even a full year into this. It's just, I just have it tracking along, which is I'm pretty sure like the biggest start of my self improvement journey because that's where I really start to like you know track my workouts a bit. Like I start working out every single day. I've been pretty much working out every single day, minus like one or two days, for the last seven months of my entire life. I didn't miss a workout a single time this month. I always try to do a little bit of push and pull, a little bit of running, a little bit of skipping, a little bit of something. And only recently I made a regime in which I can actually follow and it's very very tough and it's very very arduous but it's all like it, 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 it all pays back it pays dividends if anything and honestly exercise is the only positive outlet in which I can use the se this sexual energy in order to like how do I say this get some sort of ROI if I try to do work and I'm horny right now I can never do the work straight up like I want to create my CVs, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to type out my book, I want to video edit, blah, 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 blah. I cannot do it for the, for the life of me. I cannot do it for a single second because I mean, I'm so preoccupied by this horniness. The only thing that will get me off the horniness is physical exercise, and intense physical exercise. I don't think people talk about this enough, but the, the, the biggest remedy to fapping, to jerking off, is exercise. There is so much ROI. If you, unless I feel horny as a man, do 150 push-ups, straight up. If you want to do a set of 20, okay, do 100 push-ups, set five sets of 20. See how that destroys you. Now you don't, now you don't want to suddenly you don't want to jerk off anymore. You're just too preoccupied with your push-ups. See the thing is, guys. For the most part, from what I've seen, for the most part, from my own data, from my own mistake, right here, because these la the last three days I failed. I, I go on a two-day streak, and then I, my biggest streak was eight days, and I didn't really like follow it after. It's just been a hodgepodge of things. I want the next two days. I want to just try to keep clean, keep my keep my mind focused. But I don't think I will. I don't think I have the willpower necessary to do it. But the biggest the biggest way you can uh, like you know excel in no fat for what I've seen and what I will execute next month, and then from today to next month, is that one physical exercise. To transferring energy, doing what, doing like my mental work, like studying or, or making CVs like I am, or writing my book, or video editing, or. Uh, reading, like all this shit, all these positive behaviors, like that require your mind. They will not work, for the most part. If you're a spurg like me, and a lot of guys aren't that special, so you're all pretty much spurg like me. We're not. The seven billion of us. How could all of us be in, in special, right? Everyone thinks that that's that, that, that exception, but in reality, they're not. I can't see shit. The only way you can remedy this is by simply forgetting about no fap and simply exercising. Very intense exercise. I am so horny right now. I can barely think. I'm about to mop the house, which is a physical, uh, a physical task. Then I'm about to go on a run, which is another physical task. About I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna mop the house. What the fuck is the matter? There's a material on it. That's what I did. I'm gonna mop the house. I was looking at the, um, the, power, the power button here. Underneath. Right there. See that? I'm gonna mop the house. I'm gonna meditate for 15 minutes. Actually, it might even be 30. Hopefully, my urges go off. <laughs> then I'm gonna go on a run. I'll be skipping in the park. Um. Hopefully. Honestly, I don't, I don't fucking know. I think the urge is so powerful. I can barely think at the moment. I can barely record this video. I'm procrastinating on recording the video. Oh, I wish I could just be. I wish, honestly, at this point in my life, I know a lot of bunch of the girls that I knew before are getting fucked at the moment, having relationships, and it's super fun, but super fun, blah, 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 and I like these girls and everything. But that's the female timeline. I'm the male timeline. I keep thinking about it. I think about this every single fucking day. In 10 years' time, where will these people be? Where's that guy will be? Where is that guy gonna be with the consistent sex from that girl? He's gonna be lazy and lethargic. Okay, if he can work and he sees sex as a relief and he can work thereafter, like sure. And he earns like a bunch of money, sure. But for the most part, none of these individuals are like that. I've seen these people. You've seen the guy that fucks the, the girl that you like before and your ex girlfriend? Yep. Yep. Oh, there is, yep. In 10 years, she's going to be a trash hoe. In 10 years, I'm going to be a multi-millionaire, world champion, inventor, angel investor, entrepreneur, genius. Everyone would herald me as that guy. 
fuck is that in my eye? I don't I haven't and at this moment in life, because of that, because of my Jesus, let me breathe man. I drink my vitamins as well. Hey man, I dropped my vitamin bottle. I'm drinking Manuka Plus Vitamin C with zinc. A lot of people are zinc deficient, therefore they, they you know they can't grow. Multivitamins with vitamin A, D, E, C, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, folic acid, biotin, calcium, iodine, iron, magnesium, zinc, brewers, yeast, utin. Uh -uh. I don't know, I just fucking drink and my body reacts. It's all good for me. And it all make me taller, that's what I know. That's the extent of my fucking placebo effect. Oh. I love the smell of fish oil. Cod liver oil. What does this have again? Vitamin A, D, cod liver oil. I already finished the meal, so... Always take my supplements, guys. Okay, you need your supplements to grow and my cat thought this shit was food. I'm like a fucking idiot. But it isn't. I don't know what I was talking about. I was so horny. I'm so preoccupied. Anyways, work. I like why I want it really at the moment because I want to achieve these goals so bad. I want to be the complete celibate, you know, monk like individual who's completely focused on his work and completely enamored and endeavors into work. Because girls, for the most part, if they see you on your work, they see you on your grind, they will respect you. They will respect you much higher. The level of respect that you will, you'll get is much higher than. The level of respect you would get if you were just like a fuckboy. If you, you could, you would obviously. I don't know if you if you are a fuckboy, you usually attract fuck girls. You might get a lot of girls in mass, no un mass. However, there is you know, there is a there is an ROI on that. But you have to remember, think about like, is there a positive ROI for later on in life? You get so much pussy, you you you, you would be blinded by it, and you you would think to yourself, at some point, all types of pussies the same. Which is true, but then I think there would be a, a weird dilemma you would be in. You would get too much girls, and you would be in a like in a weird spot where you kind of it would be kind of soulless. It would be complete hedonistic soulless bullshit, and I think that would just rob you of your sanity. If anything, like Dan Blazarian, I don't think Dan Blazarian will ever get that one wife, bunch of kids type lifestyle. I think he's like he's like forty something, and he will always be like a fuck boy. Attracting fuck girls, and I think that's not necessarily a huge positive thing. And people say, "Oh yeah, you trust my baby," but you know the fuck. He was born with that shit. It is what it is. Like, I just, I just feel like a, a shabby excuse because we all know life isn't fair. Like, of course he's gonna get more girls than you. He's a he's a trust fund baby. He's in phenomenal shape. He went to the military. He he obviously didn't shy away from hard work to be in that type of shape. He obviously made his his, uh, his family wealth uh, into a much bigger sum of wealth. So he made his big pot of money into a bigger pot of money. That was because of his own effort, and he's in good shape, and he seemed like a pretty good dude. And he gets a bunch of a bunch of women. Life isn't fair for the, for the get go. And if you just tell him, oh yeah, he just, he's a trash for maybe, you just allow yourself just to be mediocre. It's just a stupid cult fucking excuse. I hate so much because yes, it is true. He is a trust fund baby. He, is, he probably will get more girls than you than than you will ever get in your entire life. But who gives a fuck? Just focus on your goals. Focus on your mission, and then you can get you can get the same thing. The fuck? You're not gonna die if you don't get that pussy. This is what I need to tell myself as well. Every single moment I pause, I just oh, this just, just slaps me in the face again. I think I'll name this video Horniness is Blinding because it really is. I really want to go mop the house. I want to mop my house. I want to mop my house. Catch you guys in a bit.
How long has it been? Bro, 14 minutes of me being horny, bro. 